Now I've given you my invitation. My invitation is I'm near to you, I'm ready to listen to you whenever. Even if you haven't made dua except only one time, I'll still listen to you. Doesn't matter if you have no other good Islamic qualities except dua, I'll still listen to you. What should you do though? This is what Allah is doing for you. What should you do for Him? He says, Fal yastajibuli. The other word, remember there was ajaba and istijaba. Istijaba also means to try to answer. Somebody says, Brother, I want to have lunch with you. I say, I'll try to make time. I don't know if I can do it, I'll try. Trying means maybe you will succeed, maybe you will fail. Allah says, Fal yastajibuli. They should at least try to answer me. You are asking things from me, Allah says. You're asking me for a better job. You're asking me for health. You're asking me to protect your children. You're asking me for your parents. You're asking me for a house. You're asking me for all kinds of things. I'm asking you some things too. What about what I'm asking you? فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُ Then they should respond to me. They should respond to me. Now the, the thing is, in the Fatiha, in Surah Al-Fatiha, what do we want from Allah in Surah Al-Fatiha? Anybody know? We want guidance. But what does Allah want from us, Ibadah? Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'inu. Nasta'in means we want help. But before we ask Allah what we want, we tell Allah what we will do for Him. What will we do for Him? Iyaka na'budu. What will He do for us? Isti'ana. He'll help us. So what you do for Allah should come first. What you want for yourself should come second. But in these ayat of Ramadan, He said, I will answer you whenever you call me. And then He said, you should answer me. He didn't say, you should answer me, then I will answer you. SubhanAllah. He even put Himself second and you and me first in these ayat. He put Himself second. فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُ لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي They should respond to me. They should have real iman in me. They should really believe in me. لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ So that they can be set straight. So they can be good people. They can change themselves. SubhanAllah, these few ayat of Ramadan are transformative. They can completely change the way you think about this month. If we reflect just on these ayat. The relationship you are going to have with the Qur'an. The relationship you are going to have with dua. The relationship you will have with Allah after Ramadan is done. These are the things you have to internalize.